Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's RP, and I am back in Taxi Life. I got to tell you guys, I am enjoying the game. That's all I can tell you is I am having a blast being my own boss, driving my own taxi in the streets of Barcelona. And for my last video, uh, which showed, you know, pretty much the uh, raw game footage of a 30-minute uh, playthrough where we encountered some of the uh, bugs that are kind of uh, being discussed on the internet. Uh, then I went and played the game after that. And what I found out was it's not that bad. There are a few bugs, but nothing that stops you from being able to play the game. And another thing I was able to do is I was able to get my transmission working like a real transmission. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. Hello. Hello, sir. So right now we are in reverse. I can use my paddles on my wheel to go to neutral and to drive. Now, There's if you guys... something big on the window. Yes, Here's I see wipers. that. Absolutely, sir. Let me do that real quickly. You are absolutely right. I saw that myself, sir. That's disgusting. Uh, but we are able to separate our brake from the transmission now. In arcade mode, you have to hold the brake and it'll take you into reverse and then you hit the uh, throttle again to go forward. Uh, I've been able to get, get that solved and here I'll show you what it is. We are using the Logitech G20 wheel, pedals and steering wheel with the uh, paddles. And on game settings, you need to set the gearbox to simulation and clutch. Now, even though you're not using the clutch to go from drive to neutral to reverse, it's there so that when you upgrade the gearbox in the game to a manual transmission, it takes effect there as well. So once I did this, I was able to get independent transmission and get it off of my brake. Here are my settings. Brake sensitivity is 100% and steering sensitivity at low is 75 and the rest is normal. I find that to be very helpful in driving for me. Let's make sure we're in D. We are. Let's go ahead and hit the turn signal and get out of here and go and deliver this guy. Now, he has not acknowledged the fact that I've got the uh, wipers on cleaning off the uh, mess. So I think there might still be a little bug there with that, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these wipers off real quick. At least this slows time down when it does it, and uh, I don't have to worry about getting in a car accident. I'm not very good with those type of menus. Let me get over here in this lane. And there we go. Yeah, but now that my steering wheel is set up the way it is, you know, my brake is 100% my brake, my throttle is my throttle, and obviously the steering is what it is. Now that these paddles actually manipulate drive, neutral, and reverse, I am having a blast with this game. This game doesn't deserve the reviews it's getting, in my opinion. I think the game is very playable with a couple of bugs, but nothing that's going to keep you or prevent you from progressing. I'm at level 14. I have a lot of points into my uh, my driver. And if we get to level 15, we'll go to the garage and I'll show you uh, what I have in those points. Now, is this guy just stuck here? Okay, there you go. A little bit of patience goes a long way in the game. After all, you are on the streets of Barcelona. So, you know, it's at a very uh, slow pace as far as driving. You know, it's not Grand Theft Auto. We're not trying to zip around the streets here and get away from cops. We are trying to deliver passengers and keep them happy. Keep that patience meter right where it is. I just keep aware of my surroundings and I seem to be doing very well with the game at this point. In fact, I can steal this lane right out from underneath this guy. And as soon as we get the green light, we can be gone. There we go. So what I did after the first video, guys, is I just kept playing. I just kept playing just to see. And what I have found out is that it's playable. And hopefully this video, we're going we're gonna to just record for 30 minutes. And I'm going to pick up passengers. I'm going to go to the garage. I'm going to uh, spend some skill points. I'm going to do uh, what you normally do in the game, 
you guys can have a good idea uh, of what the game is like that way. And, you know, there might be times where I'm just silently driving because I'm actually just into it and I'm into the scenery, the, the beauty of Barcelona, the streets are awesome. I mean, this is very enjoyable. Uh, every now and then like that. Okay. So, you know, there was, I was where I was. She was where she was. I was able to avoid it. Now, had I saw her making that earlier, I would have just yielded to her. We can make a left here on both sides, which is awesome. All right. See, I've got somebody here. I see them. No big deal. Kind of like driving in uh, Harvard Square, to be honest with you. All right. One of the things I do need to do, though, is not pull up so close and not be able to see the lights. But, hey, we can jump into this view. Give you guys an outside view. But I prefer the realism of being on the inside because I am a taxi driver, man. I'm making my life on the streets of Barcelona, hauling people around. I love the game uh, a lot, man. I really, I'm addicted to it. I don't care about a couple of bugs. I know they're going to take care of that. And I have full uh, confidence that this is, this is definitely going to be a good game. I think this is going to be one of those games where after we're playing on the streets of Barcelona like this, we're going to want them to give us something like maybe uh, the streets of New York, the streets of Boston. I tell you, this game would be awesome in Boston, right? Because of all of these landmarks that, uh, that are here in this game in Barcelona. We have a lot of landmarks uh, here where I live in Boston. So having the streets of Boston would be uh, very landmark heavy as well. I think it would fit very well into the theme as well as places like London, Sydney, Paris, uh, Seattle, uh, you name it. I mean, you could get a lot of cool cities with this type of uh, game. And I would really like to see something like that. Maybe I'm dreaming too big. You guys let me know. You guys give me your thoughts on that whole dream of mine of like this game having more than just Barcelona. Cause like right now I'm happy with Barcelona. I dig it. I haven't seen all of Barcelona yet, not at all. And so far I am loving it. This is so, so awesome. Look at this, we're gonna pick them up right here. Grab our, are we getting somebody or are we dropping them off? I can't remember. Take care. Oh, we're dropping you off. Bye-bye. All right, how'd we do? We get a tip? Yes, we got a tip. Let's grab another fare and continue on here. Let's make some money. I want to get enough money to buy another cab. Another thing I'm curious about, and maybe I should just look in the help section and, and, and figure it out, but how do we get a company going? Are is this like American Truck Simulator where I get to uh, make my own cabbie company and then hire virtual drivers and buy cabs for them to drive? Uh, I'd really like to know. I'll probably look in the help section, but if you guys uh, know the answer to that, that would really be awesome. All right, so far so good. Been a very, very, uh, very, very nice day here in Barcelona at 1.36 in the afternoon. I'm grabbing this lane right here. Actually, I'm going to have to kind of sneak over to my side over here. I got to make this left. Yeah, this is like really driving in a in a um, city or a town that you really don't know, like in real life. Like I'm, I'm trying to maneuver this pretty much as a tourist, right? I've never been to Barcelona. This is the closest I'm getting to Barcelona, folks. I can tell you that right now. I don't, uh, I'm poor. I'm not going to be able to fly to Barcelona. I don't have that kind of money. I got to be to work on Monday. <laughs> I wish I could go to Barcelona. Oh, we got some. Can we collect that? Yeah, got it. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, got another achievement. Uh, here's our client right here. Look at this, look how smooth we can do this. And even if we mess up, we can just pop her right into reverse and 
park where we need to park. There we go. Yeah, I love how I can control the transmission now. So nice being able to back up uh, normally. Almost missed that turn. All right, this gentleman, this is another long run. The long runs give us the nice uh, money. That's what I like about doing the long runs versus the short runs. And I uh, believe I put points into my driver profile that uh, opened up longer runs and also better tips. So yeah, we did hit level 15. So I think what we'll do after we drop this gentleman off is we'll hit the garage and see if we can uh, buy anything else on our uh, profile page. Basically, it's our it's our you know our skill tree, and uh, like I said, we're at level 15, so I have already been very very busy. I'm a little confused. Where am I going? This way? Yeah, right here. All right, very good. Um, yeah, I've been real busy, man, driving since the first episode. That this is how much I like the game. Once I got my wheel hooked up, and my wheel was performing like this. I'm tempted to be on the big road. I don't know why it has me on this on this side of the road, but I better just better better just not not you know make trouble, <laughs> right? Just stay right here. Oh, I see why. Look, we we merged into this road from that kind of. Oh, I've never been to Spain. I don't know how to drive in Spain, so doing the best I can. Can I go now? Yep. All right, very good. Yeah, so I've been hitting a lot of landmarks. Landmarks like the one in front of us here. When you hit these, uh, they they really boost your experience points. And uh, that's basically what I've been doing is just getting so many landmarks that the experience has just been flying, which is awesome. Uh, like I said, I do want to figure out how to get a company going. I think that'd be awesome. Get a little fleet of taxis going. All right, Mark Rubio. That's who we're picking up here. All right, Mr. Rubio, we're on our way. I love the uh, the sound effects. I love the ambient sounds. All right, ma'am. Gonna need you to cross the street there. Thank you. Very good. All right, we made it. All right, so we get one little narrow street on this end of the uh, street. They get three lanes over there. All right, that's that's pretty tight, huh? They get three oncoming and we get one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I'm really, really happy that the steering wheel is uh, Do you know the origin set up. of Barcelona? Do I know the origin? Let's find out. Uh, yeah, I actually yes, do. Yes, I do. Could you tell me more about it? I will. Sure. It was founded as a Roman colony in the first century BC under the name Barcino. Can you tell me more about the culture of Barcelona? Barcelona is known for the arts, especially architecture. Just cuisine and, and passion for football. That sounds really interesting. Thanks for sharing. It's my pleasure. All right, that's a nice little boost in patience for us. I love that uh, aspect of the game where we get to be uh, immersed in a conversation with the people in the back. Uh, I'd like to see more of that. I, I enjoy that. That makes the, the drive a little more realistic in my view. I, I actually did drive Uber here in uh, Boston when Uber first came out. I did it for like, uh, like a year. And I just did it on Saturday and Sunday during the day. Like from 8 in the morning until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Mainly college students going from Cambridge to... Uh, South Boston. There's a very popular breakfast place 
in South Boston. So that's basically what I was picking up when I was doing my Uber. And uh, I enjoyed uh, talking to people and not just getting the silent treatment, <laughs> to be honest with you. Because I'm that type of person, you know? I, I like people. What can I tell you? Oh, I think I might have made a mistake, but I think I can... Oh, my mouse went crazy. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta recover from this. Let me see if I can do that. I think I can. Yep. All right. A little bit bumpy. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Hope I didn't upset you and it doesn't look like uh, that I did. So we'll just continue on here. Yeah, I used the mouse in order to shift the view and the mouse there just went a little wonky. I guess waking it up that suddenly was not a good idea. Man, that is really driving me crazy. Whatever that is down there. I wish I could see it. I've got to get that monument. And if you try to slow down and try to, uh, you know, grab a monument. If you can't grab a monument as you're going, then slowing down kind of irritates them. As you can see there, we got a little irritation meter. But it doesn't matter. We're almost to our drop-off point. And once we drop them off, I want to hit a garage. And we'll go check out our uh, skill points and see if we can add some more skill points to our driver. Let's get on in here and boom. Everybody out. All right. What did we get? Five stars and a nice tip. Excellent. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, not take the next task. And go ahead and hit the map here. All right, we have a garage right here. We're going to go ahead and head for this garage. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get some points. I hope everybody's having a great day. And I hope uh, if you're playing the game, you're having the same kind of experience that I'm having. Which is, you know, not, not totally negative. Uh, more positive than negative, I would say. Why are you stopping? Go ahead. Are you stopping for him? Is that what you're doing? Because you're an AI, you get to see prior than, than I can, so you automatically stop. Let me see. Can you get going now? There you go. Come on. You can make it through there, buddy. I got faith in you. Get that car going, pal. We got, we got places to go, things to see, and we're going to go right down this road. Make sure nobody's in the crosswalk. Perfect. You can drive a little more, uh, you know, a little more relaxed when you don't have a uh, customer. Sit. Oh, now listen. Really? All right, guess what we're going to be doing at the garage? <laughs> Sorry. Wrong place, wrong time for me. Uh, what was I saying, right? I was saying you could be a little more aggressive, and look what happened to me. Right? I fooled around, and uh, it cost me. It cost me some money, because now we're going to have to fix that. That was definitely a nice smack in the front, so we're going to have some damage to repair. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. My bad, my fault. I do apologize. But let's get to the garage. Uh, let's put let's put that behind us. Let's totally put that behind us like it never happened. All right. There's the garage. All right. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna try to back us into this one. So let me go ahead and. Uh, Get my camera set. There it is. All right. Whoop. Wrong gear. There we go. There. Should do it. This is how I drive it uh, home when I get in my garage. Not my garage, but my driveway. <laughs> All right, well, that's not bad, 99%. That wasn't that bad of a hit. That was just a little kiss. Wash off the uh, taxi. Let's go ahead and add some gas. Let me show you guys what I have done. In parts, 
I have upgraded the engine. In brakes, I've upgraded the brakes to ventilated brakes. It significantly reduces braking time. I put on the uh, all-season tires so that we have uh, more uh, grip on the wet surface. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is, like I said, I don't, I don't really need a manual transmission. This automatic transmission does fine. In the driver category, I've gone ahead and I've filled out all of these driving perks. And now we're going to grab this last perk right here, VIP Proficiency, which gives us exclusive jobs. And they are a bit harder, but provide much more money and experience. Now, I don't know what, what harder means. You know, what, is, what does harder mean? Is it the patience is going to drop faster? I don't know what that means. Again, I don't know how to get the management part of this opened up. If I look into help, company. All right. Your company allows you to earn passive income. You can start your own company once you purchase the required number of cars. Oh, okay. That just answered my question. The minute we buy a car, we'll be able to open up a company. Excellent. So I think what we're going to do is let's go pick up another fare. All right. We have everything done here. There's a guy right here. Oops. Get rid of that, please. Right there. And let's go grab this person. And uh, yeah, that'll be awesome. I'm going to go ahead and get to the outside view because I want to be very careful here. When I, when I pull out, I don't want anybody. Uh, oh, parking brake. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to get any, 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 any trouble here. All right, now where do I got to go? I got to make a right. Let's go ahead and get her into drive. Check this cross rock, <laughs> cross rock. Check this, this crosswalk real quick. I have to turn this around. And we have to go down this street right here. Just don't want to hit this light pole. This is now literally like driving in the north end. This is how uh, the streets are there. Exactly this narrow right here. Just like this. See this? See this street right here? If anybody's been to Boston, you tell me this doesn't look like the north end right here. It most certainly does. <laughs> so, yeah, I've, I've done this before. So you got to be real careful. That's all. You know, cars bigger than those three streets put together like that. All right, maneuver this. And uh, yeah, but again, the steering wheel, you know, having all of the uh, all of the uh, steering wheel set up the way it is now, being able to switch gears on the fly like that, and then the rest of it's just, you know, gamer coordination. You know, at some point, you're going to have to remember that it's not the game, it's me. <laughs> but uh, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, and I hope you guys are doing all right. And uh, let's get this uh, customer, and let's make a little money. Because now I know I need to buy another taxi in order to uh, be able to get my business going. So that's going to be a big decision. Because I do want to buy another taxi. And I want to buy that one that has... Uh, uh, more maneuverability and tighter streets. And then I guess I would pass this one off. I'm not in this thing. Hold on. Hold on. Am I in it now? There we go. All right, where's, hey. this, where's this guy going? Where are you going, pal? Oh, look at this view right here, right? Is this not beautiful? These palm trees, this... This open uh, court here. I love this. Love this. This is awesome. I tell you, I could sit all day and just drive the streets of Barcelona and just deliver my uh, my clients. I hope I hope this guy talks to us. And I'd like to see a lot of different variety of uh, interactions with the uh, customers. I'd like to see a lot more. Um, choices a lot of different types of uh topics you know but keep it you know casual and basic like you would in real life you know 
obviously. All right. Yeah, see, I mean, it's the game's playing beautifully. You know, absolutely beautifully. Look at this. Is this not nice? Are you guys not enjoying the ride with me at this point? You know? Am I not doing a good job here? Look at this. I love this. Look at this. This is really nice. This is such a nice, relaxing game. Gives you that feeling of uh, satisfaction, accomplishment. Um, you know, it. it's just good. I mean, the game's good. It. These mixed reviews, they got to go. These mixed reviews do not deserve to be on the game. I mean, you know, a few AI bugs, okay. But you guys are seeing, you know, me play this game right now. And we haven't had anything that's been, you know, really upsetting in this playthrough. So I'm totally happy. I'm happy to let this button stay recording and just showing you exactly uh, how the game's performing. You know, and, you know, look, you got to be just like in real life. You're driving, right? You got to watch out what's going on here, right? So, you know, in real life, I'd be looking over here. I wouldn't drive blind into this. You know, this guy's just coming barreling in here. All right, now I'll take my my turn and I'll grab this lane right here. And uh, yeah, I'm good to go. I'm in the rotary. And being a, a boy from Boston, I know how rotaries work, son. This is how a rotary works. Just get in there and get her done. <laughs> See ya. All right, done. Just like that. Know where you're going. Get in the rotary and get out. All right. We got some uh, speed cameras coming. What do we got for speed limit? 70. All right. We're doing 50. I hardly ever get to 70. I mean, I really have to push it to get to 70. Most of the roads don't last long enough for you to be at 70 for more than a second. Except for this one. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got something. We got something here. Let's get over here. This is something right here. I got to get this, folks. Sorry. Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. I was a little sloppy, but you're patient. Good. You did not flinch. You did not flinch. I appreciate that. I got to get over here. Where's this guy? Right there. All right. I can do it. So now it's like real driving. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look at this, pal. Let me show you something. There you go. Go ahead, ma'am. Just like that. Grab our lane. Awesome. Sweep on down here. I've never been through here. I don't know what to expect. I'm going to give these guys some room. Be patient here. Go on, my man. What's your hold up? Got somebody behind you now. All right, so here's how I'm going to deal with this guy. I am going right around him. All right, and that's what I'd do in real life. If he stalled out or whatever his little issue was, that would have been my maneuver on on the real streets. <laughs> how about you? Let me know. Can you turn on the radio? I certainly can, sir. Let's go ahead and do that for you right now. There we go. Thanks. You're welcome. So I have the radio playing, but I got the music set to real low. I don't think there should be any copy strikes on this type of uh, music. So I'm going to let it fly. And if there is, well, I learned a lesson. <laughs> but I don't think they would put... Uh, this is just redundant music, you know? I don't think it's the type of music that uh, you have to worry about. But I did put it low. So that we don't have to listen to it too much. It's a little bit uh, repetitive, but it's making our uh, customer back here nice and happy. Got to keep my eye on the road. It's some, it's, sometimes I might go a little silent because I'm just in awe of what I'm seeing. Like over here to the right, that is fantastic. This is just such a, 
a cool city to drive around in. I mean, I'm just enjoying the heck out of it. You know, this is one of these uh, uh, maps where once you get a little bit of money made, you don't you don't mind just like saying, all right, I'm not going to pick anybody up. I'm just going to go around. I'm going to hit all the landmarks. I'm going to find all the landmarks, all the graffiti, uh, get all of those, and then, uh, you know, really explore the city just on a tank of gas, you know, for the cost of a tank of gas. Because I'm getting good gas mileage myself. All right. Got a little bit of an accident here. What happened? Was that a DUI? Was he was he telling her to to outstretch her uh, her arms? All right, here we go. These are funky little turns. Whoa, I'm not used to these. Get over here. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh, we kind of upset our passengers with that, but I'm sorry. I did give you the radio, though. Go ahead, pal. You're in a hurry. I'm just going to keep the speed limit here. All right, we're going to be dropping these guys off right up here. And, uh, yeah, I want to uh, grind out a few more uh, customers, and I want to uh, get another cab. And I want to check out what it's like to uh, run this as a little bit of a business. Such a pleasure riding with you. Hey, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed taking you. Did you give me a tip? You gave me a tip. I'm going to be happy, and you did. All right, that's awesome. So I think what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this episode right here. I'd love to just keep driving. This would be an awesome game to stream. And uh, what I think I'll do is I'll uh, drive around a little bit, pick up a few more customers, earn some money, and by the next episode, see if we can uh, buy a new uh, taxi. So until then, thank you so much for your support and love. Don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can see how this game actually plays. And until then, I'll catch you in the next episode. Ta-ta and bye-bye.